guys, welcome back to a little short update here. It's not gonna be a long video, but there's gonna be a little bit of information in here that I think most of you will be reasonably keen to hear. So guys, first and foremost, I wanted to apologize. It has been a little bit inconsistent with videos lately, and there's a few reasons for it, but you know, all in all, I kind of wanted to give you guys a bit of an update as to what's going on here, because we have some exciting news. We've actually gone and bought a place, which we're super excited about, but being first time home buyers, you know, a lot of this stuff's going over our heads. So I've kind of just taken a back seat for a little while, just to kind of make sure that I get all my stuff in line, and you know, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, all the rest of it. All the other real world stuff that most of you probably out there have already done. But yeah, super, super excited. We've got a three bedroom apartment on a ground floor, which is really big. And uh, let's just say there's enough room for, for not just one reptile room. Let's just say that. So yeah, I'm really super excited about that. There's probably gonna be about another six weeks from when I'm filming this video as to when we actually move into the place or start moving into the place. It's not gonna be an overnight move-in sort of situation because there's a lot of stuff to move. But yeah, so super excited about that. I'm actually really excited to have the animals in the home with me because that's gonna be really, really nice to just be able to kind of walk from room to room and be able to go and check on stuff super easy rather than coming down into the garage and mucking around there. Apart from that guys, there is a hell of a lot of stuff going on here. I have actually moved on a couple of frogs. So as much as I love my frogs, I uh, kind of needed some room for some more lizards. I've actually ended up picking up a couple of female Gillens monitors that are proven breeders on a breed loan. So they're not my lizards, but the fella that's uh, um, given them to me. He's, uh, you know, we're gonna go halves in some animals or something like that if we happen to get some out, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's a, that's essentially on the cards now. Things are happening around the joint. There's a few few bioactive tanks that need some replanting where some plants have done really well for ages and then all of a sudden just carked it. And there's other tanks where they just need a good scrub up and stuff like that. But I've been a little bit lax in being in here, unfortunately, just due to everything else going on. We've had another wave of COVID kind of hit Sydney, so that's really fun at work dealing with that. Plus, kind of moving up in the world at, at high tech, I'm now managing the shop, um, so that's a little bit, a little bit more workload for me as well. So yeah, there's just a lot on my plate. To top it all off, there's certain things going on here, like these two incredibly destructive green tree pythons destroying their enclosure, and it irks me so much that I'm not in there all the time tidying it up. But I'm trying to leave these guys alone because I've had a lot of breedings out of the male, and the female's starting to look a little chunky. So I don't know what's going on 100% with her, but I'm just trying to kind of keep hands off a little bit, just as to not disturb them too much. Over here, we've got certain terrariums that are doing really well, like the prickly forest skink enclosure is doing awesome. And then this enclosure was doing really well, and then all of a sudden something happened. It was like it was overnight and the plants just decided to just go and melt. So I don't exactly know what's happened there. And then you've got other things like the brown tree, uh, brown tree snake enclosure down here, who's on its third plant that seems to have taken root. This banks here seems to be in there, but I do need to give it a good scrub up because you can see that the water bowl's filthy. I need to get in there and get rid of that shed. That's only just happened overnight now. And scrub up all that crap that's in there as well. Gotta love brown tree, pipe, uh, tree snake poop. So I've got the, the female Gillens monitors are kind of just in these temporary enclosures where these frogs were. So very, very basic for the moment, but this is going to do them for over winter. Give them a little bit of, you know, privacy as such. There's a couple of good hollow logs in each of those, a couple of water bowls, a bit of heat, and they've got a UVB tube above them, of course. And uh, then I've got my Philocroa in here, the green stream frogs. So they're cranking along. So yeah, basically the plan will be for the new place to almost have uh, one one room, which is like all the exoterra tanks and stuff like that, all along one wall. Uh, might end up using, there's another rack over there. 
uh, that I'll use for like the smaller enclosures and stuff and just do one wall of exoterra tanks with a desk and stuff on the other side so we can record the podcast. Danny can work from home if she needs to have a desk space. Um, and we'll, yeah, have all, all this stuff all on the system. Then the other room will be kind of all the bulky gear that we've got in here. We've yet to kind of have a bit of a layout of it. So we're gonna see how it works, but yeah, basically the plan is to not actually have any reptiles in the main living area. That's just gonna be for us. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a learning curve getting into this place and moving everything around and setting up another couple of rooms, which will be cool. In other news, I actually finished the Boyd Forest Dragon enclosure, the new enclosure. So that's all done. I haven't obviously planted it out or put anything in there just as yet, because I'm kind of holding off on that, just thinking, oh, if I've got to move this thing in six weeks, it'll be a hell of a lot easier to move empty than it would be full. So I might hold off on moving them into there, but I'm really happy with how the rock work came out. It was looking really good. So very, very excited about that. But yeah, they may just have to stay in in their little enclosure over here for another couple of weeks yet to come. Now, it's not much to look at right now, but this is another enclosure that I've actually finished. It'd be nicer once the lights and stuff were above it and I cleaned it up and spray painted the sides, etc. But this enclosure here, this is another one for the other brown tree snake to go into. So this will be good to finally get this one in the rack as well. So guys, I know it's not like a crazy video or anything like that, but I just thought I'd give you a few little updates on a few bits and pieces that are going around here. I'm kind of stressed out of my mind just thinking about how I'm gonna move all this sort of stuff, but it's just gonna be a slow process and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride too. So as I start setting up these rooms and that, I'm gonna involve you guys in that so you can start seeing everything finally coming together because this is kind of gonna be a place that I can plonk down for a few years and, and really enjoy myself. The other benefit to it is I'm probably about another 30 or 40 minutes away from Jason. So we might end up doing some uh, like little herp videos and stuff up, up in an area that I haven't herped up to the central coast or something like that down the line. And I'm also just on the other side of Karingai National Park. So that's pretty cool to have that, you know, right in my backyard as well. As you guys know, I've lived around Karingai my whole life, just on the kind of more Eastern, Eastern and Southern side, I suppose you'd call it. Whereas this is kind of gonna be, be a bit more on the Northern side. so different sort of area of Karingai, which is pretty exciting for a lot of bushwalks and stuff to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and there's a little bit of an update and I just thought I'd keep you guys all posted as to what's going on. But yeah, guys, hope you liked it. Catch you next time. Make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. Catch ya.